Well, here's a new study. It claims that the USMCA, that's the revised NAFTA, of course, would add $68 billion to the economy, create about 200,000 jobs in its first six years. That's the claim. That's what the report says. But, of course, Congress has to pass this thing first. Curtis Ellis is back with us, former Trump campaign trade and jobs advisor. First of all, is this up to Speaker Pelosi, whether there is a vote on this thing or not? She actually does have the option of not bringing it to the floor for a vote. And what do you expect? I expect she will. I'm here to she deliver... Will deliver the, she will put it up for a vote? I am here to deliver a warning to the Democrats. They bottle this thing up or defeat it at their own peril. Remember, it was President Bill Clinton who signed NAFTA. President Trump, as candidate Trump, hung that around Hillary's neck... And as a result, he won Michigan, he won Pennsylvania, he won Ohio because the industrial workers of America, the labor unions, understand that NAFTA was a disaster. Okay. It destroyed the automotive industry in America. It destroyed so many other jobs. If the Democrats now want to stop the revision of NAFTA, because President Trump has delivered on his promise to improve this deal, this is going to create thousands of automotive jobs, billions of dollars worth of investment in the automotive and auto parts sector. Mm -hmm. If the Democrats want to repeat Bill Clinton's mistake and stop President Trump from fixing NAFTA, they will pay the price. If Speaker Pelosi says yes, put it on the floor for a vote, can it be amended? It cannot be amended. Oh, so it's as is. Take <laughs> That's it or leave. right. Take it or leave it. Now, there are talks going on in the back rooms about side agreements, making sure that the labor provisions are enforced and can be enforced, which is a good thing. Yep. And Ambassador Lighthizer worked very closely with the trade unions and fixed the problems that they had with it. For example, Mexican trucks. Under the old NAFTA, you would not want to drive on an American highway because Mexican trucks with unclear safety records, bad safety records, would be allowed to operate uh, at will. That has been changed and fixed in the new NAFTA. So the Teamsters are very happy with this. So you're thinking that odds are it does go for a vote and it does pass. And if it doesn't, watch out Democrats. That's right. Exactly. All right, Curtis. That's a nice, succinct little message there on this day. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Appreciate it.